principle of superposition of forces. In that the principle said that if a force system is acting on a body that is superimposed with another force system that itself is in equilibrium then the effect of both the force systems remains same as that of the initial force system. So when a body is under various loads or a single load and we are trying to make a different uh, force application but the basis on the condition that the newer system that will not change the effect on that particular body which was previously provided by a initial force system. So to understand that we take a one body or we understand that uh, if one body is uh, affected with a number of forces P1, P2 and P3 and the, that forces make some deformation in that particular body of uh, delta amount. So if you apply that uh, force P1, P2, P3 one by one and if you measure the deflection delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 and if you make a superposition of that deformation or you can say the superposition of that forces so the output that is in form of deformation that is overall delta is equal to delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta 3 so that will be similar than whatever the previously available with a single force system in another way if we understand that if uh, we have a uh, one body available so we just uh, draw that body three times now on that body we have uh, two different points available point uh, A and point B Now on that particular body there is a one force applicable at uh, point A with the magnitude of uh, P. So now on the same body if we want to differ this force system whatever right now applicable at point A that is a equilibrium force system applicable on this body at point A. Now we want to superimpose with the another force system maybe at some other location so we identify the location B. So how to do that that is the one thing and uh, that will also take care of the impression that is given by the force P on a body that would be remain same. So after that application of force P at uh, location A, now we apply a similar magnitude force P but in uh, both direction at point P. Now after applying this force P in equal and opposite direction at the point B, still there will be no difference in this system as well as this system by replacing or by addition of uh, this uh, two force system at point B. So we equalize that first system with a second system because if we consider that whatever the force acting at point A that is uh, with magnitude P Similarly here also same force is acting but here there are two forces but those are equal and opposite so there will be a no additional effect available due to these forces on this body. So we can say that whatever the effect generated in this first case there will be similar in the second case.
Now we just look at to the third figure. So again, looking to the forces that is applicable at point A and B, and if we consider a distance between A and B, that is uh, D. So now we replace the system in a third case. So it will be uh, force P, this force P that will remain as it is. And now this P at A and P at B that will be at a distance D, but that will make a couple and that couple we can provide at uh, point B and that is of P into D. So now in first case a system is only with force P and uh, in third case that is system with uh, P into D that is uh, one kind of rotation and uh, P is single force. Now if you can compare that whatever the rotation and translation available with this force P here same will be applicable with this three type of forces also we can convert in third case this couple in this of third case with this force couple into P into D so whatever the effect of translation and rotation due to these forces those are similar in this case also so from the first case this is a system that will be completely transferred with uh, another force system but the maintaining the effect of uh, both the force systems that will be uh, same on that particular body now if we talk about this principle of superposition of forces so it is uh, generally applicable to the all type of the problems but uh, that is effectively used in uh, changing the type of force systems without changing the effect uh, on the body and this principle is uh, widely used in the problem of uh, non-concurrent force systems this principle of superposition of forces is applicable in all type of problems related to the engineering mechanics however its applicability is limited to the strength of material problems with such type of limitations the first limitation is that the body behaves as elastic so this is a limitation that should be and the second one is that the deformations are very small so small deformation in comparison to the dimensions of a body in these two cases if this will maintain this principle holds good in a problems related to the strength of material so now it is all about the principle of superposition of forces